And we welcome you back to Newsmax Now. And rejoining us is Newsmax Chief Washington Correspondent John Gizzi, who's covered uh, the Supreme Court case yesterday and the court case today. John, reading your column right here, up now, live on Newsmax.com, the Republican response to today's Supreme Court ruling, not as unified as it was yesterday. You specifically talk about Rob Portman. What was his response? Well, Rob Portman's response was that he was happy as a father with the court ruling and hoped we would move on from the divisions over the issue of same-sex marriage. Now, Senator Portman, it should be pointed out, is the first Republican in national elected office to have broken ranks to support same-sex marriage. That came in an emotional statement he delivered in 2013 after his son, Will, revealed to the senator and uh, his wife that he was gay. Uh, this has prompted a few other Republicans to begin exploring and rethinking their positions on the issues. I might add that Senator Portman's home state of Ohio in 2004 resoundingly passed a statewide initiative defining marriage as a union between a man and a woman. Uh, many say that it was key to helping George W. Bush carrying the electoral votes of the Buckeye State and winning again. Obviously, this is going to change the political landscape. Uh, Senator Portman uh, also faces a difficult race for re-election next year, so it will be interesting to see how his position and statement play out. All right, well, I encourage everybody to read up on John Gizzi's writing, available now on Newsmax.com. And as always, John, great to talk to you and great to get your insight on these matters. Thanks for having me. Always it's a pleasure. It's never dull. That's right. It's never dull, especially these days. We'll see you soon. Very soon, we hope.